バカだなぜ貴様がここに Impossible, what are you doing in here? 若干18歳にして、サイエンスに論文が掲載された天才。<笑>囚人監視の中で男をいじめるド S 女。そしてまたの名を、ザ・ゾンビ。A sadist who humiliates men in public, also known as the zombie. I don't know, mate. You know, some people pay top dollar for humiliation. Yeah. Nice exposition, bro. Who are you calling a zombie? Oh, yeah, that's right. Because you were like found shanked bleeding out on the floor of a building. And then we found you again at the ATF. And now you've snuck up on us here and want to examine our gel barners. Oh, we got a sneaky wink as well. I'm here to see you, Okabe Rintaro san. Or is it Hoin Kyoma san? Wait, how the hell does she know my real name? I've never spoken it in front of her. So good. That was right. <laughs> You're one of the organization's top agents. An expert with superhuman powers. You're not dead, alright. Please stop killing me off. Nah, don't worry. Don't worry. You're not going to be killed off. Can you do something about this guy? In a bad time, when Okari is freaking out like this. Nara doesn't seem phased by this girl's entrance. Why? <laughs> Have you betrayed me, Daru? Kill quota one waifu, kind of, one metal frog, and about 100 fourth worlds. The metal frog's fine. It's sitting on my desk. Calm down, man. He's blackmailed us. Did she seduce you? For crying out loud. Why the hell are you asking that? Who would seduce Daru? No offense. But who would seduce him? Who in their right mind would? I mean, you could be really undercover, and I don't think anyone would have the, uh, the guts to. I glare at Kurisu. He's my right hand man, how dare you? You've crossed the line, bitch! <laughs> oh man, the Japanese pronunciation of bitch is amazing. What was it again? Listen, let's listen to it. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh shit, I don't want to do that. Oops. Okay, back to this. Get a hold of yourself. Chris's eyes flash dangerously, I think. Such intensity from an 18-year-old girl. Maybe she didn't resurrect after her first death. Maybe she's a robotic killing machine. Constructed to replace the dead Kurisu, is that it? Yeah, and she was sent from the future as well. For now, I'll do as I'm told. Hashida-san gave me the address after yesterday's lecture. He also told me your name. That's all. The truth is kind of a letdown. See, to see me, is that it? Yeah. You claim to see me die. You claim to see me die. I came to see if that was the truth or just a pathetic excuse to grope me. I came for the answer. Now that she mentions it, she did treat me like I was a perv yesterday. Well, yeah, you were kind of trying to lift up her blouse to see if she had a massive stab wound. And without the proper, you know, context, that kind of, you know, can be interpreted as slightly perverted. Well, I suppose I should be grateful that she didn't call the cops on me after what I did. Yeah, I suppose so. But what choice did I have? Anybody would react the same way if a dead person reappeared before them, right? I don't know, I'd probably run screaming for the hills. <laughs> 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 
but your current behaviour is all the answer I need. It was all an act to grope me. My initial hypothesis was correct. Not so fast. There's more to this than you know. Well, I might. Yeah, we're all good. I must clear my name or be labelled a perv forever. Oh, uh, no. I think you kind of, uh... <laughs> you kind of screwed the Okabe. Anyway, let's put that aside for now. <laughs> You'd go get your apocalypse bag if, you know... Yeah, I don't blame you, Zoe. That's a relief. I was sure she was going to call the police. But that, uh, for now, part bothers me. Yeah, it bothered me too. Kurosu enters the development room with a quick, confident stride. Even though she's only 18, she's got a, de a decent figure and good posture. Not much in the chest, though. Present seems to fill the cramped room, driving me and Daru to the corners. Can't she tell this area's off limits? そういえば、まともに自己紹介してませんでしたね。マキセイクリスです。改めましてよろしく。マキセイクリス、please like to meet you. Chill out hand. What's she trying to do? Shoot lightning from her fingertips? ワクシュもできないの? You can't even shake hands. Are all Japanese men this difficult? Shake hands. This girl genius is asking for a handshake. We only met yesterday. And just moments ago, she was on the verge of calling the cops. Obeka? You're not Japanese? I've lived in America for seven years. What about it? Obeka. America. Look down at her slender fingertips. Glossy, healthy fingernails. No unnecessary polish. I stir, fixated. Slowly, I extend my hand, making sure to keep enough weight on my heel so I can flee at a moment's notice. I lightly grab the tip of Kurosu's index finger between my thumb and index fin, <laughs> and then instantly la you you are hopeless. What's your problem? I can feel your aura of Mars. He must be a powerful kung fu master. Oh hey, Adithia. You're right. You haven't been here for a while. <laughs> Welcome. Don't be ridiculous. Then you're a ninja. Keep her rest. Damn, she's completely cold. Her tone gets scary sometimes, too. America, so that's if you grew up in America. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> Shouldn't you say, her, 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 nice to meet you with a smile across your whole face when asking for a handshake? No way. You should be asking for a hug, right? This is a stellar performance. America, so that's not <laughs> Nice to meet you. Yeah, okay. Perhaps that's too much to expect from a killing machine. What kind of stereotype is that? Grisu sighs. She's not even looking at me. Instead, she's staring at the bananas next to the phone wave name subject to change. The bananas which have just exhibited a most unusual phenomenon. Of the bunch, one has been completely jellified. Fascinating. Grizzly brings her face closer to get a good look. Have any forceps? No. Nope. So. No. And then she stabs the gelatinous banana with her index finger. She buries her beautiful fingertip, knuckle deep into the slimy banana. <laughs> what are you doing? That's precious data. Bloody hell. It's squishy. Grisu extends her finger, pierces the gel, gel cling to her finger, to extract even. Oh, shit, I completely read that wrong, never mind. She puts that fingertip in her mouth without any hesitation. No taste. Gross. She says it with a straight face. The side effect of the resurrection, perhaps. If you're that hungry, I guess I could give you a banana or two. No thanks. Either way, those bananas are my Yushis. 
え、Come on, say, who would eat some Perv's banana? But if you could add in, ah, but it's so after that, it would be extra delicious. Oh. Now she clicks on. She's meant to be a genius, yet that took a while. Suddenly, Kurosu's face turns bright red. <laughs> <laughs> you may be a worthless, disgusting perv, but let me say well done, sir. <laughs> Payback is sweet. Now to follow up for Maximum Combo. Let's show this conceited little girl how true adults fight. So, you just imagined something, didn't you? By all means, tell us what it is. Don't be shy. Why, you? Come on, say it, genius girl. What's the imagination of a genius like? I'd love to hear it from you. You ass! Hirosu turns her back to us with perked shoulders. It looks like she's capable of expressing human emotion after all. Now rules out robotic killing machine. Ah, I feel refreshed. I haven't felt this good in years. Way to go, Daru. That's my right hand man. Always gets the job done. Isn't that just your right hand? I get it. You're both curves. Yeah. Well, you could say that. Don't admit it, you idiot. I don't want to hear that from you. Okay. Okay. Came off. That's a little rude. I apologize. First, he sighs deeply and turns back to us. Her composure has already returned. その原因があなたがたのしくほらこういうにあったとしても、ブラウンのあのミスる。ボディヘル。ドロップアンドロンインフォーダ。ボディヘルクロス。ジャストドゥイト。アウェイシーウッドストップセイングフォーナウ。イ
ラボ麺となってもらうラーメンラーメンラボ麺だバカモノラボ麺ラボ麺メンバーラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラボ麺ラ You're a monster. I'll take the science. I'll take the science. From the moment you become a lab member, the moment of your departure, your brain shall be used for the benefit of our lab. So Let's see the contract then. More contracts. This is a lab not a corporation. To understand the secret of ramen, you must become ramen. ただし、他に変態的なオプション契約があるなら、問題はない。この俺が貴様に対して行ったセクハラ一歩手前の行為を聞いてすべて不問にオカリンちっちゃい人としての器がちっちゃいっすそこに痺れる憧れるダルに言われたくないちなみにダルの桜の声はこの件に含まれないそっちは二人で話し合いなんだとこらふざけるなこちらからの要求は以上。この飲み物を飲めないのなら。<笑>さあ、どうする、so、?I don't think it's a bad deal at all. 悪くないとり。あんたにとってでしょ ?You mean for you?Prissy put her fingers to her brow and shakes her head in exaggerated gesture. まったく。I feel like I'm not just pleasing your adrenaline. I pick my jaw up off the floor. I don't care about your dislocated jaw. Do you accept the conditions or not? Answer me, Christina. Also, who's texted us? Oh, it's Tutoru. You used to go around shouting burn and stuff. Why do boys? Why do boys want? Fire powers. I think flower powers, plushy powers, could be cuter, don't you? Not replying. Stop Tina, my name's looks up at the ceiling to calm herself down. Does everyone in America make such exaggerated gestures? Sooner or later, she'll say "damn" or "oh my god" or "motherfucker." Okay, I accept. <laughs> いい返事だ。Good answer. 今この瞬間、君はラボメンバー004となった。歓迎しよう、クリスティーナ。Welcome, クリスティーナ。いや、コードネーム。ザ・ゾンビよ。どっちも間違ってるから。I won't answer to ちゃんと呼べ。ボーイン。ボーイン。Man, you could cut the tension with a knife. We spend a minute staring each other down. Carissa is the first to look away. She does it so in a way that says good grief. You're such a child. You say something to me, Come on. As long as you understand. Now for the issue of hand. Christina. Daru, give Christina. ティーナもキンシー。ティーナもキンシー。これまでに我々が行った事件について説明してやりたまえ。どんなことはある。But Is Kurosu, of course. And I finally tell her everything about the bananas and the phone wave name subject to change. Kurosu doesn't ask any questions. She's quick to understand, as expected of a genius.
Fascinating. Let's hear your opinion then. I think we can at least throw out completely worthless theories like electromagnetic weaponry and teleportation. The lady doth protest too much. Can we run the experiment one more time? I want to see it for myself. Without waiting for approval, Kurosu plucks an untouched banana and sticks it in the microwave, then starts entering the commands on her phone. It's strange. She's still wearing her usual frown, but I can't shake the feeling that she's really enjoying herself. I can't my, put my finger on why. Call it a hunch. But I mean, she is a scientist. Why shouldn't she enjoy experimenting? Please watch the bananas. <coughs> who are you to give orders on the scientist? Whatever, just keep your eye on the banana. Okay, so she's a little snippy. Her and I do as we're told and stare at the bananas. Truth be told, we're planning to watch the bananas anyway. After missing it the first time, we're determined to witness what transpired with our own eyes. 60 seconds have passed. Any change? Nope. Any second now, the jellified banana should reappear on the stem. If it only happens once, we can call it an accident and be done with it. But if it happens twice, then that's proof that something's actually going on. And then, Kurosu will have to admit that I, the great Hoin Kyoma, have invented humanity's first teleporter. I keep staring at the bananas in anticipation. 100 seconds. A few moments after Kurosu's report. Canal. Oh! Up. A gel barna suddenly appears without a sound. Now there are two of them on the bunch. It happened faster than the blink of an eye. It appeared! I'm at a loss for words. I just witnessed the unthinkable. This phenomenon is clearly teleportation. The microwave ch timer chimes. Kurosu peeks into the microwave stumped. How does it look? Uh, uh. At 104 seconds it disappeared abruptly. Yeah. She's quite flustered. I don't think many people could remain calm after witnessing such a phenomenon. So it's teleport to the first in human history. Kurosu quickly calms down. She furrows her brow and crosses her arms, tapping her right foot as she mutters to herself. Teleportation. Is that even possible? It did move, no matter how unbelievable that may be. But it'd be quantum teleportation. No, that only occurs on the quantum level. Don't avert your eyes from the truth. What you've seen with your own eyes is everything. She gives me a sharp look. Her eyes are like snipers, hard and keen. Did it really teleport? It's dangerous to reason from the conclusion. Well then, genius girl, what do you call this phenomenon? The phantom gel barna. Let's sort this out. Neither the banana bunch, nor the frozen chicken teleported, correct? So maybe there's a size on the object that can be teleported. This chicken piece is smaller than bananas. I used the same chicken for each experiment. They come in packs of 12. I really buy her favourite juicy chicken number one. That's quite a lot then. What about salt? The experiment is with salt too, right? We used a handful of table salt on a plate for one experiment. Nothing happened. Maybe the plate was in the way. <clears throat> of course we tried it without the plate, but that didn't change anything. Maybe each individual grain of salt was too small or something. Hmm, I need a clue. Looks like our genius girl's fighting a hard battle. She starts pacing the room, looking a little annoyed. 
他には電話レンジに関連することで気づいたことある電話レンジではなく電話レンジはカットフォンウェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェイフェこいつからすごい放電が起きたお何そんな話は初耳だぞオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリンがいない時だったオカリどういう状況で起きたのこいつにつないでる携帯の調整。専用のものを外して、代わりに自分の携帯を接続し、そしたらしばらくして、ビリビリ。それはいつのことだ昨日の昼だよ。オカリンがドクター中鉢の発表会を見に行ったとドクター中鉢ドクター中鉢。はい、私は行ったドクター中鉢のコンフェンス。Come to think of it, he stole his time travel theory from John Titor. Maybe the current John Titor is actually Nakabachi. But wait, Daru, didn't you say his presentation was cancelled? So, so no toki. But you were with Mayushi anyway, remember? No, I don't remember that. After all, Nakabachi's presentation wasn't cancelled the way I remember it. I still don't understand why my memory seemed to disagree with everyone else's. So, you have a son of Jika. That reminds me, what about Daruni made us? I sent you an email back. Did you get it? Email? Kino, ATF, you missed it. ATF yesterday. And I know, Kurosu comes closer. So, let us go. それ確か私が捜発表会でどこに刺されて死んだっていうないああいやだがダルの名前が残っていて一週間以上前に届いていてはあれっておかりの嘘じゃないでないと、タイムスタンプがおかしなことになるじゃんそれはいつも真実しか
それを調べるのがお前の仕事だクリスティーナ。橋田さん。橋田。この人と話すのは疲れる。最初はみんなそうだよ。基本的な対策は間に受けないこと。そこ俺の言動を全否定するな。何を言うのか分かるな。何を言うのか分かるな。何を言うのか分かるな。何を言うのか分かるな。何を言うのか誰放電現象が起きた時の電話レンジかっこかりの状態を教えろ結構無茶な状態にしてたんだよな自分の携帯を電話レンジにつなげてテケロッパで操作可能かどうかテストしてた I'm home, so hungry. Mayori comes in carrying a convenience store bag. Looks like she's done with work. Time to eat some juicy chicken, number one. Did you buy the bananas? When she enters the development room, her eyes go wide. Oh, we have a guest. When she notices Kurosu, Mayuri bows her head with the usual smile. Mayushi, this. Yoroshikune. I'm Mayushi. Nice to meet you. Makisu, this. I'm Kurosu. Apparently, I'm a lab man now. Really? That's great. Another girl lab man. What were you doing with the X68000, Daru? Like I said, I was just in the incoming mail settings. I was monitoring the mail when it received the mail from the remote control. So I could have a freezing mode for only 20 seconds too. I could have a freezing mode for only 20 seconds too. I could have a freezing mode for only 20 seconds too. I could have a freezing mode for only 20 seconds too. Insert the juicy chicken into the phone wave name subject to change. You want some? I can give you one each. With her usual ditziness, Mayuri puts the chicken inside the microwave. That should be a euphemism. Dara explains what everything on the computer monitor means. Doesn't look like, uh, doesn't look that different from using DOS. I enter 120 pound on the keyboard and strike the enter key. The phone wave name subject to change starts up. The juicy chicken number one starts spinning backwards on the turntable. Grosu stares hard at the phone wave, as if not to let any anomaly, no matter how slight, escape her notice. So, we've reproduced the conditions that existed when the discharge phenomenon occurred, right? Uh, how was it again? そこに突っ立っている助手。ニューヴァー、アシスタント。は？は？私？他に誰がいるのだ ？Who else？ いつから私はあんたの助手になった？いいから、俺のメールアドに何かメールを送れ。We've reproduced the conditions correctly. Then if she sends something to my phone while it's connected to the phone wave name subject to change, it should arrive with a timestamp from the past, not the present. But my assistant, Kurosu, just scowls. I don't even know your email address. You're a useless assistant. Hey, call me your assistant. Daru, send me an email from your phone. Oh, but what? Anything. Send Christina's a perf. I thought we agreed to stop saying that. Well, let's compromise. Let's go with the green zipper. You traitor. Good job, Hashida. Grisu grins and gives Daru a thumbs up. I really don't like this. Oh no! Oh no, my bananas! 
Sounds like Mary's found the results of our latest experiment. They've become gel banners. We experimented on them. You heartless, cruel bastards. Experimenting on these poor girls' bananas. But they were mine. I need to send the mail now. You'll be reimbursed later by Hoin san, that is. <laughs> Why me? Jeez, why do you always have to experiment on my food? Don't tell me you're experimenting on the chicken too. You what a dick, Okabe. We are. Okay, send them now. Sending, sending, click. Mary slips past me and steps up to the active phone wave. Before anyone can react, she grabs the handle. Wait, wait. Don't open that. Huh? But it's too late. Oh, bloody hell. This is what the sky above me was like yesterday. Just lightning everywhere. Blue white light fills the room, crackling angrily like the heart of a storm. Oops. An electrical discharge! A violent sparking sound. I grab my and pull her away from the phone wave. No, no, Are we gonna no. die? Yes, you've opened the microwave and now you're going to die. Big flash. Thin cloud of smoke fills the room. It smells like something's burning. My eyes are numb from all the flashing light. I try blinking several times to regain my sight. I can hear Kurosu and Daru coughing. Everyone okay? Somehow. <laughs> that was definitely more than two seconds. Who is from my upper arm with slender fingers? Oh, something. Okay, I don't know. Uh, what just happened? My vision gradually returns. Mary looks perplexed. No, it looks like you've just burned her bananas again. Are you okay? No burns or anything? Uh, it doesn't hurt anywhere, so I think I'm okay. Looks like covering Mayuri was the right choice. I may be an insane mad scientist, but I still risk life and limb for safety of my comrades. I gently let Mary out my embrace. We know what your real game is. You, well, that was something. I wiped the sweat off my brow. Hey, look at this. Chris's voice is strained. With my vision finally restored, I take another look around the room. And what I see strikes me speechless. The large table in the centre of the room is made of thick, solid wood. It can hold about five or six people without breaking. That's why we placed the phone wave, name subject change, and the X68000 on it. That table had been split into as if by a woodcutter's axe. These and other parts connected to the microwave scattered across the floor. And the microwave itself has broken through the table. It's literally stuck in the floor. <laughs> What the hell? How did that get yeah, that's a microwave, but it, it's not heavy enough to make a hole in the floor? It can't be caused by electrical discharge. Some other phenomenon? I shake off my surprise. This is no time to be standing with Jurigate, Hoin Kyoma. Seize the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Just as my calculations predicted. First, some maniacal laughter. Next, I try to take out my phone and do the usual, but unfortunately, it's still plugged into the phone wave main subject to change. El Congru. I whisper the words. Words that have no meaning. Words that I use simply because they sound cool. These words have meaning because they have no meaning. After years of repeated use, just speaking them is enough to calm my heart. So, about my about my sea chicken. Eh? 
Maybe she stands up and looks inside the phone wave. It's embedded in the floor, but she somehow manages to pry the door open. Ah! Oh, you evil son of a gun. Mayushi's chicken is all burnt black. Pat Mayushi's shoulders to cheer her up. Juicy chicken number one made a noble sacrifice for the progress of science. <laughs> Let us pray for its happiness in the next life. ちょっと。yeah, I mean, you know, a room full of boys needs ventilation anyway, but when something nearly blows up, you probably need a bit more than the normal. Silence, all of you. I flicks everyone with an overpowering stir. This shall be remembered as the moment that the greatest experiment of the century succeeded and brought humanity a step forward in a new direction. These guys have no right to ruin that with their foolish talk. My heart pounding, I detach my phone from a phone wave. Luckily, it's completely unharmed. I open it. It still works. I bring up the list of received emails. The email should come at the top. However, my heart beats even faster. The topmost email isn't the one Dario sent before the discharge occurred. This impossible phenomenon is exactly what I was hoping for. I look back through my email history. And there, I find it. Ocarine is a <laughs> key. <laughs> success. I don't know why, but it was a success. The timestamp proves it. I received this email on July 24th, five days ago. This is the exact same thing that happened to my someone stabbed cursor email. A mail sent on the 29th arrived on the 24th. And just now, the truth was revealed to me in a flash of inspiration. Well, Connect, there's a meaning behind this series of events and only one true answer. I've discovered the phone wave. Name subject changes. True hidden function. This isn't intuition. This is right. This is conviction. Just spit it out. What do you think it is? I feel my lips twist into a grin. Mikurasu's glare head on. First, let me say one thing. The greatest inventions are created by accident. This we call serendipity. Get on with it. How dare she ruin my speech? Oh well, let's get to the point. This mail was sent to the past. Chicken returned to its frozen state. No way. As you seem to get it now. As expected of my genius assistant. Yes. Yes, way. This is the choice of Stein's gate. Time machine. Is a time machine. Oh, snap. 